from Unholy Gaijin. What are your thoughts on China using eye tracking headbands helping students focus on classwork? Okay, I don't actually know about this. What is this thing? Eye tracking headbands. What is that? I wait. Is that the is that the kind of thing that see if you if you look at uh, cleavage or not? Like, you know how you have to play this <laughs> game. You know I can't. You know measure looks. You know th there's these cameras that can detect where you're looking, right? So y there's and lots of psychological at, experiments that use eye tracking yeah. technology, but that's usually from you have something you're looking at visually that's being projected to you. And then there's a camera that's facing you capturing that. I'm not familiar with something that's like on your headband. I never, you know, you know, which test I'm looking at. Okay. So can you, do you know which test I'm looking at? Like they they show you a picture of a woman and she has like, like her cleavage showing and is catching wh where you're looking at. Are you, are you looking at her There are eyes? lots of studies like that. Yeah. No, no, these are, it's a challenge. Okay. And oh. the challenge is supposed to a challenge like it's for you to be able to look at her face and her eyes without actually looking at her cleavage right and like if you look at her cleavage if your first thought is to go look at her cleavage you're like a pervert or like men are like it's proof that men are disgusting and they can't like control themselves and i'm like i hate always hated those tests it was like Hey, those boobs would be pretty. What the hell? What's wrong with you? I want to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, man, like, oh, you're like, oh, wow, you're not looking into her eyes. You're looking at her cleavage. You're like, oh, well, they they look nice. What was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know what I think is kind of ridiculous. I don't know what the difference in like the rates or the amount of time spent looking at the cleavages between sexes, but it's hmm. the fact that women look at women's cleavage too, like everyone looks at the boobs. Like if you're in a girl's changing room in middle school, you're all looking at each other's boobs because you want to see how each other compare. Men do the same thing with each other's genitals. Like this is normal. I don't know why people like stigmatize this. I think, okay, I think, I think Susanna, given that you're bi, I think you're just projecting. I like, you're just checking out other girls' boobs in the locker and you're like, everybody knows <laughs> this, right? <laughs> like, no, I, this I'm not is just... true. It's, no, like it's not. It's not just me. Everybody is doing this, right? Right. <laughs> okay. I don't believe anyone who says that they do not compare themselves to people of the same sex. I don't believe sure. it. Sure. I don't believe it. We all do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> caught in four K. Right, <laughs> okay, okay, but let's answer the question. Well, so, what is this thing uh, that we are talking about? Um, let's pull up an article about this that I found really quickly and we can take a really quick browse because I need to learn more about this. Um, okay. Let's make this bigger. Brain reading headband for students is too much what? even for Chinese parents. No, go up. You had it. You, have, you didn't share it. You were just reading it without sharing the screen. Okay. Oh, my bad. Okay. So brain reading headband for students is too much, even for Chinese parents. Here we have mm -hmm. some very nice school children. Um, a headband that claims to monitor children's brain waves in order to improve Wait, their is that is that not, is that not ra racism of lower expectations? Go look at the title again. Even for Chinese. I don't think it's lower Even for Chinese parents. Even for Chinese parents. I like this is so bad. Even <laughs> Chinese parents don't like it. You know, <laughs> like I think no, that's, I, I think that's, I think that's kind of racist, no? <laughs> I can see racist. how you would see it that way. I don't think it's lowered expectations, though. I think it's just like saying that there's the whole tiger phenomenon of the tiger mom, right? But that is a stereotype. Oh. I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I, a headband I think, that claims I think, to monitor children's brainwaves in order to improve their focus is available for purchase in China aimed at tiger mothers and fathers who do anything to help their children succeed, but its target customers are really creeped out. The Focus One or FUSI headband from the US based startup Brain Co. US based. No, um, claims it can measure how closely students are paying attention through electrodes that detect electrical activity in children's brains and send the data to teachers' computers or to a mobile app. Jesus. 
A light on the headband that beams red, yellow, or blue also purports to signal how engaged the child is at task, with red being the highest level of attention. Um, the product already provoked unease in April when photos and footage of primary school children in one Chinese province wearing the product started to circulate widely online. Um, interesting. My children are humans, not animals. They don't need to be cultivated like this, said one Weibo, which is, that's um, a Chinese social media uh, user um, reacting to the report. Can you show the picture? Oh, yeah. There. Is that it? Is that how it works? Yeah. I'm yeah, not sure if this goes on the front or the back, but it says that this is just a product that you can buy. It's not like this is something the state is necessarily doing. All right. So, okay, let's, let's just stop sharing the article and just tell us, let's say, I think we heard enough. What do you think about it? Um, I think it's a bit extreme. Um, but I feel way better about it just being a product that's available on the market as opposed to something that's like used in schools. Um, I mean, maybe it's used in specific schools. Um, if it no, was but in, he, here's the problem with unholy Asians question. When you say China, you have to be more specific. When you say, what are your thoughts on China using eye tracking headbands? Is this a school doing this or is this the government doing this? Did you get a did you get a feeling that it was a school doing it or just like a couple of schools doing it? Well, it did when we say, say that China. There, yeah. It did say that there was a picture of like all these students using them. Okay, yeah. here we go. Yeah, I mean the, our judgment would be completely different depending on whether oh yeah. Yeah, is this a school? Guys, we can't just like talk about China as if China is just like one thing, right? We have to be like, is this is this like one school, one school's policies, and we're like, are we like criticizing the school, or is this like, I don't think like this is China's government that is like making this a rule in China. Like, I don't think that's what the case is. That the case? That's not is the it? impression I'm getting at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, so if it was the government, obviously this would be really bad. And I don't think um, because the government is now becoming more controlling and telling schools what to do. I mean, you know, just like we criticize the other things that the Chinese government is doing when it comes to mandating what they what they teach in school, this seems to be like that times 100, right? So obviously we would be criticizing that a lot more. But I don't wow. give, give what? So not only, so it was tested on a school like of students and the backlash of it was so bad that the school was actually ordered to cease using it. Okay. So the, so the government's role here was to actually make them stop using it. Mm -hmm. So see guys, yeah, so this is why we have to be careful. Like you hear China controlling and then all of a sudden it fits in so well with the narrative that you just were like oh my god china is becoming more at this end this you know and we do criticize china here a lot but in this case the role of the government was the opposite of what people would assume it would be the chinese government came and made the school stop using these because of the backlash see there are like apparently you know there are some tolerance for people complaining about things in china as long as it's not the ccp like you can see people complaining about something in china and they get getting their voices heard and there was a reaction to it. So it's not all that bad. I do agree with the parents' uh, concern about this. Um, I don't think if, if you want to encourage kids to become more, here's the thing. I think, okay, so put the article away. I need you to stop. Sorry. You know, stop reading it. I'm talking and I feel like you're not even, you're not paying attention. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I think this, what people don't understand is that the teachers are serving the children, right? Like, it, I don't like it, this attitude that we have in school that the teachers feel like they're the boss. Like, I don't like the kids to feel like this is where I go to and I'm ordered what to do, right? Mm. I feel like if we are paying, like, I, I think the proper attitude 
the the proper mindset people parents need to have is you're here to serve my children and my children better be happy with your services do you know what i mean like that's the mindset i enjoy, i think that more people need to have when it comes to the school services right if my kid is not paying attention you better become more entertaining <laughs> you like you better you better find a way like you can't force my kid to pay attention like that's not your job you're not there to force my kid to do anything i'm paying you you better not mistreat my child if my kid is not paying attention it's not a failure of my child it's your failure to be interesting enough for my kid to pay attention to you better perform better like what you're putting something on my kid like you're for, like i can't pay attention no like i want here to say if my if a student tells my kid the kid that i don't have that hey you know so and so i don't know what my kid's name is okay um anita pay attention anita needs to shout back i like you better be more entertaining like entertain me and then i will pay attention okay no like science needs to be fun you need to you're here and you're providing a show and i pay it i'll pay attention once you become a good teacher and become good at your job enough for this for this to be engaging for enough for me to pay to pay attention i think that's that's what it's supposed to be yeah yeah, yeah. i mean especially now when it comes to with technology um there's so there's no excuse you know gamification um you know all these met metrics that we have to to monitor what kids engage with this the, the most i mean there are these apps and video games and educational videos are going to eventually compete with the school system enough that I, as a parent, would be able to get my kid engaged in science and learning material way better than, at some point, way better than the school system. So if the school system was to remain relevant, it better find a way to compete with all these other ways that I could educate my child and entertain them at the same time. So that's my mm -hmm. attitude. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.